In the days prior to Jesus' ministry on earth, a man who wore strange clothing and ate strange food was preaching a powerful message in the wilderness. His name was John, and he told crowds of people that the kingdom of heaven was about to appear and that they should turn from their sins and wash themselves clean through the baptism. His emphasis on baptism earned him the name John the Baptist. As word of John the Baptist's message spread, crowds of people traveled to the Jordan River to confess their sins and be baptized. While many of these people were genuinely sorry for their sins, there were those who came only for show. These religious leaders, called Pharisees, came to be seen by the people, not because they wanted to be closer to God. John the Baptist warned them that God would not be fooled by impostors and that only those with genuine faith would be received. John's warning to the Pharisees continued as he began to describe a very special man who would come after him. This man would be so great that John wouldn't even be worthy to touch his sandals. This man would baptize with the Holy Spirit and with fire. This great man John described would be the promised Messiah. As John the Baptist continued to baptize people in the Jordan River, many wondered about the man he had spoken of to the Pharisees. One day, a man from the town of Galilee came to be baptized. John the Baptist immediately knew who this man was. He was Jesus, the promised Messiah that John had told the Pharisees about. John was filled with awe and a bit of confusion. As Jesus approached, John the Baptist couldn't believe that Jesus would wade into the water with him. John, filled with confusion, asked Jesus, Why are you doing this? I am the one who needs to be baptized by you, and yet you want me to baptize you? Jesus reassured John by saying, It is right to do all that God requires. In obedience to the Father, Jesus was baptized by John. This was an incredible moment in which Jesus, the perfect, sinless Son of God, identified with those he came to save. As Jesus was baptized, he entered into the pain and sin of all people. While Jesus had no sins to confess and be cleansed of, his baptism was an act of faith and obedience. As Jesus rose up out of the water, the heavens opened above him and the Holy Spirit descended from heaven in the form of a dove that came to rest upon Jesus. This amazing sight was followed by the booming sound of the Father's voice saying, This is my dearly loved Son who brings me great joy. Jesus' baptism serves as an example for us to follow.